Guard long sleeve thermals. They're perfect as a layering piece. It's a great way to have something super comfortable to just lounge around the house and have some fun with. And I've got to check my notes real quick, but we still have a whole bunch of teams available for the NFL. Uh, okay, the two teams that are currently gone are the Chiefs and the Washington football team. Now I'm going to need some help here. I know football, but I don't know nothing about ladies fashion. So I'm going to bring in an expert who not only knows more about women's fashions than I will ever learn, but knows more about football than I do. Her name is Casey Baldwin. She is a former NFL cheerleader for the greatest team. It's my show. I get to say that. All right. Now, wait, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I know. I know. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I have to go based on sizing, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, at least you stayed within Pennsylvania. Okay. I got to give you that. <clears throat> and the Steelers are crushing it this year. They are. I have some family who are fans, so it's still okay. I can root for both. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'm not going to score any points against you on this one. But we are working together for a lot of this hour, so we'll see what happens. Uh, what do you think of the thermal? And it's a beefy weight thermal. It's not t-shirt thin. It, it has is. a gorgeous representation for your favorite team. The color blocking on it is sweet. And by the way, the color blocking is not just dyed or silkscreen. Those are different pieces of fabric. So this is what they call an engineered shirt. For those of you who are football fans, that adds to the value of the piece. And I think it just makes it stand out as being even better looking than it would otherwise. You're right, Dan. I absolutely love this piece that G3 has brought here just for the ladies. This is a waffle thermal knit. So like you said, it's really comfortable, really cozy. It's a nice weight, but it's really, really uh, loose and cozy. It's not one of those thermals that's tight and restricting. You can feel it's such a soft fabric and it's yep. so flattering. Have to call out this fit. They've really tailored in the waist here to be very flattering, but you have a nice length. It's that shirt tail hem. I'm wearing this with our team legging. You get nice coverage and really will have a little longer in the back than in the front. Yeah, it's Casey, really great fit. For years, ladies had, have been forced to just wear, you know, smaller sizes of, of guys garb. And that's, exactly. that's not what you want. So to find something that was specifically cut for you within the same parameters of NFL licensing. So you get the perfect color blocking, the absolute perfect shades for your favorite team. There's like seven different colors of red used in the NFL, and every one of them is represented differently for the different teams when you're buying here at QVC. You're right, Dan, and that's part of that official licensing that makes these pieces so great. As you called out the reds, I always like to show, you can see the Bucks and the Chief here. The, the reds are very similar, but they're a little bit different because this is going to be completely perfect to your team's tone because it has that official NFL licensing. So you know you're getting the official gear. It's just a bonus that it's super fashionable. <laughs> yeah, now, let me ask you this. There's Ellen, our model who dares to wear New York Giants in a Philadelphia studio. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, how, how long were you an NFL cheerleader with the Philadelphia Eagles? For six seasons, Dan. Wow. I was. And, and you know, I know looking up into the stands, you see just as many female football fans as you do male. You really do. We're just as big a fans of the game. And that's why we truly need our own gear with our own fit. And that's, I love what G3 has done here with their ladies line. Like you said, it's going to have a nice female fit. Um, I'm wearing a size small. I always like to, to note on sizing. I'm 5'7". Yep. I typically wear a small, but you would be totally fine probably to size up one too. I also wear the medium sometimes if you're looking for something a little bit loungier and cozier, you know, at home on the couch on a Sunday watching, you might be just fine just to go up one size as well. Yeah, we've got sizes right now uh, ranging from size small all the way up to 3X. And they're lady sizes. Uh, so whether yeah. you want the New York Jets, whether you're thinking about the Cincinnati Bengals, the one thing I would say, and this would be a caveat for the entire program, is please do check with, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know <laughs> what? That's not supposed to hit the floor. That's like, you know, the flag. Okay, New England. So we'll put that there. Uh, check with our representatives as to what sizes are available with what teams. Because it's already been a busy, busy NFL season for us this year. And part of it, and you know the story, Casey, it's just been hard to find merchandise, even in your locale. So a good example, if you are a Baltimore Ravens fan, their biggest shop 
that sold apparel was right at the stadium in Baltimore right. and people couldn't get in. So you weren't able to find merchandise anywhere. We still have pretty much all teams in the NFL in this SKU, but limited broken sizes. So just check yeah. with the representatives. You'll see how, how well it works. That's nice. That's great, Dan. And you know, you have so many families where maybe mom cheers for one team, dad cheers for another, kids like different teams. You know, it's a great place to get your football gear on QVC because if you live in a different city than the team you cheer for, it can be really tough to find stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, again, in Philadelphia, if I happen to be, uh, I grew up in Indianapolis, so you know, yeah. I like the Colts as well, but there's no way you're gonna find anything but Philadelphia garb in Philadelphia. So yes. you know, I lived in San Francisco for many, many years as well. Uh, back in the, the Joe Montana days, you can't find this stuff outside of your locale. Panthers, yeah. we've got them. And I, I really like the quality of NFL merchandise because it's the toughest sports license to get. It mm -hmm. is therefore the hardest license to maintain. So the fabrication has to be perfect. They've got to hold up washing after washing. And the material is just super comfortable. Uh, this is a win-win for everybody. It really is. You can see there, Dan, with those different shades of blue and the yep. new logo there for the Rams. Uh, you know, it is. It's that official licensing, the exact colors, but in something that's cozy and fashionable and has a great fit. Obviously, we're watching more games from home this year, but it doesn't mean you don't want to root for your team and still feel fashionable and put together. This is that perfect combo piece that's super cozy, but, you know, you're going to look really polished as well. Yeah, even with season tickets, Casey, I haven't been to the link yet this year. Uh, right. It's just, yeah. it's just Same. kind of a thing of the past, but we're every bit as excited about football as ever before. And you were talking about how women are, are equally as avid fans. I, I hate to yeah. beg to differ with you. My wife scares me <laughs> when we watch a game together on Sunday. So I've seen yeah. her throw things at the TV and <laughs> yell at our quarterback as if he can hear her. Yeah, I love that. My family's the same way. I love that. <laughs> and football brings people together, which is super important this year. And that, you know, that's not going away for sure. So yeah. it's great to have this fun gear that you can root for your team and just have something that people can join in on on Sundays. And it's still been a, a really exciting year. You're wearing Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh has just absolutely crushed us this year. Buffalo still looks like they're doing well. Uh, yeah. There you go. Well, I, got the I got Raiders your, your there. Team. You can see that color blocking looks so great. You have your team's primary color in the body, secondary yep. up on the sleeve. And like you mentioned, that strip there is actually pieced in yep. thermal fabric. So it's not just a heat seal, not just a stripe. You're actually getting that textural detail of having the pieced in fabric. I was surprised, Casey, that honestly, that we have anything at all left with the Las Vegas Raiders, because whenever you have a new team joining the NFL, or at least a yep. new location for that team, uh, it becomes highly prized and highly collectible. And then you've got iconic designs like the Green Bay Packers. There's the Seattle Seahawks. I got three more. I get through. really takes those colors perfectly too. Yeah, I agree. The Our Steelers, players. and then we wind up <laughs> with the Pats. Uh, stick with me because we've got more that we're going to talk about later in the program. Casey, it's always a pleasure to have you on the air. Great to be here. Thanks, Dan. Beautiful. Casey's going to be back. We're going to be talking about another item as we get ready to wrap it up. How about for the ladies? This is important. There are not that 